Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Mumbai Car Boy. Today we are going to talk about uh, the toolkit. So it's basically getting to know your toolkit and how you can put it to use. We're going to go ahead and give you the basic, uh, you know, the show of the toolkit. What is the traditional kit that you get? get. Also, in case of an emergency, how you can put these toolkits into use is what we're going to cover up and how and what are the uh, main uh, areas where you could use this toolkit. So guys, now it's time to actually show you where exactly this toolkit is. Uh, I'm going to show you how you actually store the toolkit and what is to be kept in mind when you store this toolkit. So let's go ahead and check where the toolkit is. So of course, you need to come on this side of the panel and over here, right here, you can see this is the key slot. So you just go ahead and give it a little small push below and lift it down. So what over here you can see is uh, this is how I have kept the tool kit. Always make sure it is uh, there is no water that uh, touches it. That's the reason I have put it into a plastic. So we'll go ahead and remove it. So you can see right here it is dust free and it is water free. So this is the pouch uh, that you get with the Royal Enfield interceptor. That's the kit. So guys, as we have the toolkit now with us, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check what's in this beautiful roll. Uh, it's a very premium fabric as well that we have got. So right now what you can see is that's basically the toolkit that you have. So this is all that you get in the toolkit. Time to go ahead and explain to you each and every uh, toolkit and what is in the uh, box. So over here, you what you get is you get a 24 uh, spanner. That is a ring spanner, of course you can see, it, and it's got a 14 edge on this side. Uh, this is basically the handle for it. So you can actually do this over here, and this is basically a handle to actually use it. So this is for it. This is a two-way uh, screwdriver. So you have a minus as plus uh, as a uh, plus as well. You have two 10, uh, 10 and 12 mm uh, sp uh, over here spanners as well. What you can see, there are two 10. I'll tell you why exactly these are as well. This is the spanner for exactly adjusting your uh, 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 rear uh, shocks. And of course, the Allen keys that you get is uh, five, four, sorry, six, five, and four. So these are the uh, three Allen keys that you get um, in this uh, beautiful uh, kit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use each and every uh, toolkit and show you what are the use that they are starting off with the 24 mm spanner and going uh, why the two 10 mm spanner how you can use the uh, spanner for the rear uh, shocks as well and where you can use these allen keys as well so starting off with the 24 mm spanner so this is basically a spanner that you can use with the adjuster uh, with the holder to remove your rear wheel so this is exactly where it fits and this is where you can loosen and tighten your rear wheel so this is basically why they have these 24 mm spanner and that is how you actually hold them 24 mm spanner that we use on the rear is also used you can useful for the front wheel so you can see it locks itself over there so this is uh, for both your front and the rear uh, wheels in case you have a puncture or you need to change anything this is the spanner that you can use for both so let's go ahead and talk about the next tool that's a set of the 10 to 12 mm spanners now why is it given to you in a set that's what i'm going to explain so uh, we everyone was thinking why are two of the same uh, sizes given so the first place is now what we're going to show you so right here what you can see is the chain adjuster so you can adjust your chain with this spanner so you can see one gets locked here the other one is right here so that's the reason you would need two of the same size because that's exactly how you lock them and how you can actually go ahead and open them. Then, these spanners can actually be used also over here. You can see for the uh, yoke, if in case you want to tighten, loosen these uh, settings over here. So there are many places where actually these 10 mm to 12 mm spanners will actually work. So I'll show you also on that side is the brake panel. So over here you can see this is the brake panel over here. For this as well, you require the 10, 10 mm. So these are the various places where you can actually go ahead and use this 10mm to 12mm uh, spanners. 
So now we have gone ahead and we are going to show you the uh, third last uh, tool that is the uh, spanner for the rear shocks adjusters. So I am going to show you now how you actually do it. So over here what you can see is this is the tooth of this spanner. What it has to do is you will have to lock it into this groove. So what you can see over here it is locked and then just rotate it or pull it. So that is how you can do it. So this is how you can put it in the groove and once you actually go ahead and lock it you can actually move the shocks right up and there. So this is I will put a link on the uh, video on the top over here of how you actually change the setting because I have a video on this. So please go ahead and check that video out. The last tool that we have is the Allen keys. You can see the 6, 5 and 4, 4, 5, 6. Now as you can see the bike is basically with more of uh, the Allen key bolts. I will show you something from this side. So over here what you can see is this is the number 4 over here. You can see it fits over here. There is one more slot that it will fit over here. So the bike is equipped with more of Allen key slots over here. Again you would see. So this is the Allen key over here. The bike is moreover uh, fit with Allen key uh, bolts. So that is the reason you have most of these. You can see the right here as well. Over here one more example to show you. So yes that is how many uh, these are the places where the Allen key bolts can be actually used. That is the reason they are given three in, uh, numbers. That is 6, size, 5 and 4. So now talking about the last equipment that is the screwdriver. This is a two sided screwdriver. This is the plus and the minus. Let us go and put it uh, to use and see where exactly we can use it. So over here you can see you can use it as the, at the mudguard over here. So this is a cross uh, uh, here where you can use it. Then over here also if you see the brake oil reservoir to open the lid you can use the cross uh, screwdriver. So this is basically and the last where I can see you, you actually using it is the uh, number plate. So this is exactly also where you can use. Uh, I am not sure where exactly you can use the uh, minus one but of course there will be a place that you can actually go ahead and use the minus one as well which is at the moment difficult to find but these are the very very uh, prominent places where you can use the uh, cross or the plus uh, screwdriver. See RE has basically done a wonderful job of giving these uh, unique tools and very necessary tools and these are the ones that you would basically need when you actually stuck in an emergency. So let's go ahead and unpack it, uh, I'm sorry, pack it back. So of course this is here where it goes, this is the 24mm spanner that it goes here. This is your uh, spanner for your um, shocks, the two 10mm spanners right here. The screwdriver and the Allen key bolts. So now if you go and see uh, what I have done is I have actually gone ahead and painted them. That is only because I wanted it to be rust free and not to get, get some rust otherwise they come in uh, just you know the chrome plated kind of thing. So this is uh, Mumbai car boy and this is the toolkit that you get with the uh, Royal Enfield uh, interceptor. It is very very necessary to have this kind of a toolkit and actually I hope you know now where all you can use the toolkit because that is the major thing. People know that there is a toolkit inside uh, the bike but do not know where and how you can use it. So well this is Mumbai car boy saying thank you so much. In case you have any comments please leave it down in the comment box. If you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe this much more uh, review videos of such kind of videos coming up on the channel. See you on the next vlog. Bye bye.